so we're gonna make the cookies real fast. Okay. okay. Yes. Two sticks of butter, two cups of two sugar. Two cups of sugar, blend until creamy. Two eggs. Two eggs. Is this my cookie recipe? It or? is. It's your oh. fabulous recipe okay. from the book. <laughs> yes. Okay, um, and in the meantime, the I'm gonna do some sifted book. flour. Okay. And add one tablespoon of baking powder. So one thing that's not in the recipe in the book, which is in my entertaining book, is a tablespoon of cognac. Oh yes. The, I just like the taste. I like that Delicious. little bit of taste. And it's okay, even even for kids, you know. Sure. So, so what? what I just sifting some four flour. Four cups of flour. Yes. One with tablespoon of um, baking, baking powder. Baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. Okay. And then we're just going to add that to the Okay, so the you get the idea. Okay, butter, this, is, this is a simple, buttery, sugary dough. Yes. And it rolls out. You have to chill it, though. And uh, chill it in flat squares or rectangles like this. Right. And uh, and then you're going to roll. No, secret is Exactly. I usually e put every, my dough right on a silk pad. Yeah, everybody says, calls me and says, my dough is sticking all over my kitchen counter. My rolling pin is a mess. Yes. So this is the way to it's, avoid that. Yeah, it's definitely a magic baking tool. So keep turning. So this way you can just turn. There's nothing sticking on your board. I love this, Danny. This is oh, a great, great And then idea. the cookie is nice and smooth, too, this yeah. way. So in case you're going to leave some section uniced, you still have a nice, beautiful surface. Now. I'm going to go ahead and start with the Santa. Okay. And this has some little detail in the hat, so I'm just going to have a dowel on hand in case I need to help the cutter not pull up those little pieces. So just leave him? Just leave. I just get as close as I can, again, saving, right. using as much dough as I can. Right. That's good. So we're going to get all our Santas right. cut out. Uh, lift away the negative. Uh-huh. I actually don't always, I don't lift away all the negative. I lift away what I can. Yeah. Some of these little pieces I'll leave and right. freeze it that way. Okay. And then pull off those other ones just, when, just after so it's, it's nice, chilled clean. Or frozen. Yeah, okay. it's, it's much easier. Yeah. So that's very good. So you have a very simple, then you're going to get the perfect cookie. Yes. And, uh, and that's what we want. We bake We're it in the these. oven for... 15, and about right 15 on the minutes, on the, right on the sill pad, okay. on a baking sheet, 325? for 15 minutes, 325, okay. 15 to 18, depending on your oven. Okay. Uh, the baked cookies look great. Look how pretty yes. they are. When they bake, you see they're flat, they're even, um, they're not brown. Right. It's a great um, texture. It is. Sometimes you get a little brown edge, but that's oh, fine. Oh, that's okay, a tiny bit. It's good to know, then they're done. And so. on our website, <laughs> this, is, this is template this day. Is the template. Actually, I call it present day to all of you because <laughs> these templates are invaluable. Yeah. And this is step-by-step step how to decorate a very cute Santa. Starting with, here's the brown cookie. The brown is the cookie. Little pink hands, little pink face. And then you continue with the red and the black and the white and the decoration. Yes, yeah. I like to do that for a lot of my cookies because it yeah. keeps you organized as you're yeah. icing. Okay. So we're gonna start with the flesh tone. Okay. Uh, this is just royal icing. So I'm gonna do the little hands. And I also use that toothpick. If you see any air bubbles. Yeah, break them. It's a good way to break them. Will this flatten out? It will, yeah. Did you give it a little shake? Perfect. There. Okay. And then uh, we're using large Dom Perel's. They're, uh, we, I have green, you have purple. But you could use anything. You can use dragees. I mean, there's so many choices with the Purple candies. Eyes. <gasps> violet. Those few people that have violet eyes. My guy has green. Okay, okay so he's all set. That's and then we're, cute. we're gonna move to the suit here. So Santa wears a red suit. There we go, we got the hat. So and I'm is, also gonna add a little. This is such an easy way. You know, the spatulas and the and the sloppiness and all of that other stuff. Oh my God, this is so much easier. I'm gonna add a halved mini marshmallow for my tassel. Oh, okay, and I'm gonna add one of these snowball candies. Then I'm gonna move on to the shirt. Okay. The shirt, oh, okay, so we wanna make a little scalloped neck. Right. And just leave the edge at the bottom for his fluffy coat edge. Oh, I see, okay. Mm, look how cute. Yeah. So I call this a dam. The outside line is a dam. And um, like, and then the inside is just flooding. Do you I call mean, it that? Yes. Flooding and damming. Flooding and damming. Okay. And then I'm going to add gold buttons to his suit. I have so you can put quite dredges. a bit of frosting on if it's the right consistency. Exactly. And it, and it all off. kind of like evens out. Okay. And I'll use silver. Exactly. Okay. And we're also going to finish his pants with the red. It's just two little squares. I think mine squares. might actually turn out okay. It looks great. Yeah. 
And then we're gonna do the boots. And we're using the thinner bottle for this. Now, if you this. make these for people, do you still take special orders or not? I do. I, well, I mean, I'm kind of Busy. crazy for Christmas, yeah. but yes, I do. I do take orders. Okay, so we'll put your information on the website yes. too, because um, we don't want you spending any time that you don't have to away from our studio. Right. <laughs> You're too talented. Okay, so then we're going to move on. I'm going to go ahead and yeah, start on, my... Start. I'm just finishing my little boots. We're going to add the snowman... I'm sorry, the Santa trim. And now, um, secret, let it, let it dry in yes, between. Yes, definitely. So I'm just adding the trim to the suit. There. Oh, so it dries a little darker. Mm -hmm. It does okay. dry a little darker. The red is one of those colors that changes a little bit. Oh, so you put fur... But Santa doesn't have fur, he has cotton. It's, well, yeah, it's faux fur. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then we're gonna make his fur fluffy by adding some coarse sanding sugar. And I do that over a paper plate. But his beard, we have to have a beard, right? Oh, we're gonna do the beard last. Oh, that's, oh, oh, I started doing the beard. Okay, so, and I just do it right over a paper plate so I could conserve the sugar after. Did you do little, little weight around his feet? Yep, okay. weight around the feet, boots. Okay. Okay, and then last but not least, we're gonna add the beard. Look how cute. He is cute. Yeah, let's let that stay. And now the beard is what, same white? Same white, but we're gonna change the texture of it so it stands out. So fill in the beard, and we're also gonna add a nose here. Santa has a fun red nose. From being so cold, the North Pole. Mm -mm. And we're using a cinnamon candy. It right you think it's there. you don't think it's the rum that he's left? It could be. I think it's that rum drink that he gets. Where's and the... I'm just using white sprinkles for the beard here. I'm gonna put it on this again using the paper cute. plate. Oh. And then when you lift it up, you just kind of have to fix up the sprinkles a little bit so they stay and they're in the right shape. Should you leave it like that till it dries? Or... Oh, you could you could do it now. Yeah? Okay. 